Hey everybody, this is Deja with Covered by Hair Inc. And I'm going to be doing a tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm going to color this hair. So right here we have a 613 wig right here. So I put it on here and we're going to get started. And today I'm going to be doing like a deep blue. Um, and I'm also going to have like orange, sort of like this orange that's in my hair. I'm going to put a little orange in the front. So there'll be like some highlights here in the front and the rest will be blue back there. So yes, we are going to get started and I'm going to show you guys what we are going to use today. So today we are going to be doing a deep blue color on the wig in the back and then towards the front we will do some orange highlights sort of like what's in my hair um, and then also we're gonna it's gonna ombre into this sort of pink here so we are going to be using Ario and I have this neon orange and neon pink I love this brand um, it's amazing to me it's very uh, sleek and it's, uh, it has a little oil in it so it's very um, not oily, but it's not dry like like paint, you know. So I love I love the uh, paint uh, from this color brand. And then next we are going to be using my best friend is Splat. This is Midnight Indigo we're going to be using. So it's going to be a pretty little deep blue um, color as you guys can see on the back here. So it's going to be like sort of a purplish blue. Um, I love that color. So you guys are going to like it so much. All right, guys, so let's get started on that wig unit, and I cannot wait to see what the finished result's gonna be. All right, so I'm pouring it in a bowl, mixing it up, and I'm starting to apply it to the hair. So I did this in sections, um, just because I wanted to evenly distribute the hair color, because I noticed that when you just slap it on, it doesn't saturate every single hair, and that's important working with blonde hair, is you wanna saturate every single piece. And since this is Brazilian hair, it's a little thicker than like European hair. So I just wanted to get that good and saturated in the back. So I'm just going piece by piece, applying the color. And I'm starting at the bottom. So I start at the bottom, saturated it with the hair color. And then I just move on up to the top of the hair because I want to make sure I get every part of the hair each track that's um, sewn onto the back so I'm just making sure um, and right now I'm just clipping everything up in the front because I'm gonna dye that a separate color so I was just kind of moving that out way and you might want to do that in the beginning as well because um, it'll be easier it'll be less messier you won't get um, dye like I did, I had um, clipped it a little bit too late. So I did get some of that blue dye towards the front where I didn't want it. But you'll see how it just kind of blended in with the uh, the orange, the neon orange color. You'll see how it blended in with that. And it, it went kind of very nicely. So, um, you know, even in, in your mistakes, it still comes out good, you know, so. I just wanted to show you guys that you'll see at the end what I'm talking about. And it's it's quite funny too because um, when I put the, the neon pink on the hair, some of it did come through on the colors, but since the blue had touched the end, um, it kind of ended up fading into more of a green color. So it's kind of um, really cool how the colors actually came out. It actually came out. Uh, a little bit different than what I was expecting but it's still um, I still made a, a great unit and it is available now for purchase um, so you guys might want to hit me up as soon as possible so we can get you that wig unit it's exclusive there's no other one like it so come now and get your exclusive wig why supplies last and I am just finishing. I'm almost at the top there. So I'm just saturating each piece. Because I want to, um, you know, again, like I said, I just want to make sure I'm getting every piece. Now when I got to the top, and you'll see here very uh, soon here what I did. When I got to the top, you know, I started to saturate um, the track 
because that line of demarcation, if you can see at the very uh, top, it's blonde. It's blonde before you get to the lace. So I actually went back in and I had bleach. Uh, excuse me, I didn't bleach. I colored it with the blue onto the blonde uh, weft on the the top part, the very top, I uh, colored that with the blue. I saturated it just so that you won't see that line, uh, like that blonde line uh, through when you're wearing your hair, when the hair from the front is coming to the back, you won't see a blonde line. So I, I, I blended that in very well, just so you won't see that. And I'm getting close to the top. Now I did only use one of the bottles of Splat. I believe it is, it's six ounces it says, yeah. So six ounces, and it's usually Splat comes in like the little four ounce bottles, but um, the one I had got actually didn't come with the developer. It was just straight color. So that's all you need is just one of those bottles to complete this look if you wanted to try it at home. And please let me know if you guys did try it. I wanna see how yours came out. Um, because each wig, you know, they're not going to be totally the same. You can get the same effect and you can get as close as possible. But each wig is very unique, you know, even when you're doing the same colors. It's, it's unique because um, especially if you're freestyle applying it to, like you're going to see that in the front when I show you guys um, how I did the front. Now this in the back here, I did it a, uh, a lot more uniform, so it did come out evenly, and it will come out the same when you do it as well at home. But um, as far as like the front, it was just a little bit more freestyle, so you'll see the difference. So I am just finishing up. Now I'm starting on that orange. So yeah, this is where the freestyle came in. So I started to comb, and you can kind of see I had a little bit of the blue in there, so it kind of got in there, but you won't be able to tell once it's finished. It's just the process. So I'm applying all that orange, and then you can see where I put a lot of the pink in. Now most of it, what it did was, um, since the orange was a neon orange, it had um, it had made it intensified the orange, so it made it into like a fire orange instead of a neon orange, which actually came out quite beautiful, actually. So if you're looking for that deep pink, like the color, because that's like a magenta, then you might want to um, do less of the orange and more of the magenta. But again, you will have purple effects. Like I don't know if you guys saw. Just a second ago it was like there was some purple effects going on there because it was touching the blue and that's normal because you know blue and the pink makes purple and blue and red makes purple so different variations of purple so you guys can kind of see that in there but once I rinse it off you can um, see that it turns into this very uh, it's going from this like light orange to like a a fire orange and then then it fades into green which is actually quite surprising because I didn't I didn't see that uh, as a color as it coming out that way so it actually kind of came out uh, pretty pretty nice actually so right now I'm just finishing the top I'm going through each layer and filling it out with the blue I'm finishing that up because I wanted to add more blue to the top so that's enough to do like almost the whole entire wig unit. And then um, if you want to add, you know, a different color, you can do a green. Um, that would be very gorgeous. Even a, like a pink would be even really even nicer too in the front instead of the orange. But I thought orange would be pretty nice. That sunrise orange. I was, so you guys can see here too that I was doing that line of demarcation. It was, I was, it was disappearing as I was going through. Just because you don't want to see that blonde line in the back, you don't want to see that. It's not not a good look. And yes, yeah, so I'm I'm like finishing up here, and it really really came out beautiful. I really enjoyed doing this look here, and the pink actually turned into a quite beautiful royal blue. 
so that came out nice and beautiful I love it guys and now for the finished look guys covered by hair ink check me out <laughs>